Six Sigma is a disciplined, statistical-based, data-driven approach and continuous improvement methodology for eliminating defects. Six Sigma can also be thought of as a measure of process performance. Six Sigma is a type of statistical process control or SPC. Statistical process control is defined as the use of statistical techniques to control a process or production method. The standard deviation is a statistic that measures the dispersion of a data set relative to the mean. It is the measure of the spread or dispersion of the numbers in a data set from the mean value. The Six Sigma quality control concept is based on standard deviation. This is the standard deviation equation. The standard deviation is a statistic that measures the dispersion of a data set relative to the mean. It is the measure of the spread or dispersion of numbers in a data set from the mean value. The statistical definition of the Six Sigma quality control can be understood based on the standard deviation. To solve for standard deviation, we first collect data from the population. Let us say in a population of 8 steel rods, we measure their lengths in inches and list each of them under the X data column. It is best to tabulate the information like this so we can easily solve for the components of the standard deviation equation. We get the average of the lengths, which is the X bar. We get the difference between the X data and the X bar. We square the difference of X minus X bar. After squaring, they are all added up to get the summation. The summation will be divided by the number of available data or the population. In this example, we have 8 available data. So that is the summation. 2.766 divided by 8. We then get the square root. That will give us a standard deviation of 0 0.588 or 0 0.59. Data tend to follow a normal distribution curve. This is also called a bell curve. A characteristic of a normal distribution curve is that it has a central tendency or a mean or an average most data tend to cluster near the mean or average. The standard deviation is the spread of data from the mean. Think of it as how far the data values are from the average. The smaller the standard deviation, the closer the data is to the average. The bigger the standard deviation, the farther it is from the mean. Let us further understand the bell curve. The empirical rule is one way of understanding the nominal distribution curve. The empirical rule is also called the 68-95-99 rule. 68% of data falls within the first standard deviation from the mean. This means there is 68% probability of randomly selected data are between minus 1 and plus 1 standard deviation from the mean. This means if you randomly select data, it will be 68% most likely to fall within minus 1 or 1 standard deviation to the left of the mean or plus 1 standard deviation or 1 standard deviation to the right of the mean. This also means there is a 31.82% probability of data occurring more than one standard deviation farther from the mean. 95.4% of the values fall within two standard deviations from the mean. 95.4% data fall within two standard deviations of the mean. That means there is a 4.6 probability of data occurring more than two deviations from it. 99.7% of data 
will fall within three standard deviations from the mean. This means there is a 99.7% probability of randomly selected data are within minus 3 and plus 3 standard deviations. That means there is a 0.3% probability of data occurring more than 3 deviations from the mean. Many industries are operating at 3 sigma levels or 99.7% of their process are within 3 standard deviations. Six sigma, however, means operating at six standard deviations from the mean. For six sigma, we have to go further as follows. Four sigma means 99.9937% of the data points will fall within plus or minus four standard deviations from the mean. Five sigma means 99. 99994 of the data points will fall within plus or minus 5 standard deviations from the mean. 6 sigma means 99.999998% of the data points fall within plus or minus 6 standard deviations from the mean. This means that according to 6 sigma statistics, in a Six Sigma project, 99.999998% of the results will fall within plus or minus deviations from the mean. So a Six Sigma process is one in which 99.999998% of all opportunities are statistically expected to be free of defects. In other words, only 0.000002% of the results can be outside of the expected average result. That is equivalent to 3.4 defects per million. The very essence of Six Sigma quality means errors rarely occur. Six Sigma aims to increase the quality using statistical process control.